Here are some Halloween decor that I've had for a long time that I just don't like anymore. So I'm going to pass them on to my Buy Nothing group and see if someone would like to use this this year for their decor. I've got the organizers for the pots and pans or lids. I'm giving them away because it didn't work for me. It didn't work for my parents' kitchen. So someone else can use them instead. This eyeglasses case is going. I already have one. I don't need two of them. So just going to pass this along. And then I'm getting rid of this leather skirt. I wore this to the Jonas Brothers concert a few weeks ago. But notice that it started to peel. So this is definitely not even donatable at this point. It's just going to be thrown out but it's a shame because I actually really like this black leather skirt but now I'll have to replace it and then I'm getting rid of this headband I don't wear headbands too often anymore but when I put this on the other day I noticed that it's very stretched out and doesn't really stay on my head anymore so we're gonna let that go too really quickly I want to show you my declutter basket so here's my bin where i throw everything that i no longer want anymore in here and it's getting pretty full because the stuff is kind of big so i want to get rid of this and finally do something with it i'm going to post these in my buy nothing group and if no one in there wants them then i'll donate them here's the first thing here's this kleenex tissue holder this was actually something that my partner's mom made but she doesn't want to keep it. He doesn't want to keep it anymore. Even though this is kind of a sentimental item, nobody really wants it anymore. And it also doesn't fit our bathroom vibes. So we're just going to let this go. Next, we have this super cute baby bear with mama or papa bear. And I have this in my living room for the longest time. You can see it's quite dusty but I got this as a gift many years ago and I held on to it for sentimental reasons. It was just given to me by someone very special and it was very thoughtful. Once again this also just does not fit my living room vibe. I don't want it anymore <laughs> and so as much as I held on to it for over like 10 years I think it's time to let it go. Maybe it'll fit in someone else's home. And then I have these shoes that I don't want anymore. These are the shoes that I wore whenever I had job interviews. And at a point in time, I was laid off a few years ago. So I started looking for a job. So I got these shoes specifically for job interviews. And I'm not really doing job interviews anymore. So... I don't wear these shoes at all. Otherwise, they are very comfortable. They're by the Clark brand. I just never wear them. They don't really go with my outfits or anything. So they're going to be donated. They're in really good condition. As you can see, hardly worn. But those are going to go. Next is this bra that I don't really like anymore. So that's going to go. This is a reusable bag that I'm actually going to give back to my parents because it's from their house so put that to the side got for Callie a couple years ago and she wore it over the summer this is <laughs> a dress that I she got a lot of compliments wearing them and the issue here is that the string up here is just very torn I just don't feel like fixing it I know myself, I say that I want to fix it, but I'm really not. I don't know how to sew or anything, so we're just going to let it go. This is just another reusable bag. Um, oh, here's the, here's the string that ripped off of the dress. Um, next up, we have this car air freshener. It was in my car, and I don't think there's any more scent to it, so that's trash these are some bikini bottoms that i did not let go the other day when i did this wardrobe declutter and i don't know why i don't remember why i didn't see it or what happened here but i don't want this anymore so that's gonna go here's a basket that i was using to store some 
stuff in my utility closet, but I no longer need it anymore. So we're going to let that go. Next up, I'm donating these broom holders that didn't work out for me. I'm also donating these towel holders. And I'm getting rid of this sage incense cone that I don't know why I still have, but yeah, that's going to go too. Something that I've also been meaning to do is to declutter my pile of stuff that I have listed for sale. And all of that lives here under my organizer in this bag and as you can see it's pretty full things are overflowing some of these things i've had in here have been sitting in here for way too long and at this point i'd rather donate it than try to sell it that is definitely a decluttering mistake that i still make sometimes i have intentions of posting some items for sale and most of the time it does sell but also you never know what's not going to sell and i keep everything that i want for sale in that corner back there but it's definitely time to go through all these things and just get rid of the things that are not selling so i'm going to put everything into some bags right now and delete the listings from my selling apps so yeah let's let's pull some of these out I've been sitting in here forever. Some of them are recent, like this one, but I don't think anyone wants to buy it because it's missing a stone right there in the top. So we're going to just get rid of it and donate it. In this bag, I'm putting all the clothes that are not selling. I'm going to add this hat. These are from a friend who did not have the time to sell these, so she asked me to sell it for her. And they haven't sold, so they're just gonna go. Have some kitchen stuff over here. This is more clothes. More clothes. Some books. And more clothes. One area that I need to organize that I've been meaning to but just haven't really figured out how is our, I guess, utility closet. We have cleaning supplies in these bins. We have other home stuff in that one. Back there are also just more tools. I got my microfiber cloths here, some cleaning supplies. And as you can see, I've shown this one other time before just because how embarrassed I am of it but it's just really a disorganized mess I mean here at the top that looks fine it's just once we get down here and then down at the bottom we just have a ton of stuff so I've been trying to figure out how I can make this look better and I think I found a solution and I want to try it out today with you guys on camera so let's let's see if this works I got this organizer from my buy nothing group and it comes with these hooks where I can use those holes and hang them over the door. So that's what I'm thinking I want to do, hang this in here. That way I have places to put some of the stuff that's just not working out in here like those cloths and maybe some of the cleaning supplies and this stuff hanging here on the door so hopefully this works out if not i can definitely pass this along to someone in my family if they want to organize their stuff but i do want to give it a try here and just make this a lot better looking because it, it really does bug me every time i open this
I feel like this is the solution that I needed because I love it so far. So I'm not done yet, but really quickly, up here in this top, I put all my microfiber cloths. Down here, I have the Shark Steam Mop. So all those accessories are in here, the charger, this little water pitcher and the cloths that it belongs to all in there and this one i have some extra cleaning accessories some dish cloths this shelf liner some of my cord organizers and then i just stuck in here a little mr clean but that all fit in there and then here in the bottom i have this tortilla warmer my reusable produce bags back there and then my partner's apron i just shoved in there because all these things were hanging on the hooks that i have up here that we installed back in the day when we moved in but now that all lives in this little bottom one and then to the side i put my timu reusable plastic bag holder just on that little hook that I had there before so so far I love it this looks great this has opened some space in here so now I want to organize all the little random tools that we have in here a little bit better don't really need to go through stuff in there I know exactly what's in there and everything's a-ok -okay up there so we're gonna work on this little section now done now that took not that long just like maybe 20 minutes it was super fast so this has been working out great my only issue with this is that when i close the door it doesn't shut all the way you can see it stays a little bit open because of the hooks up there but besides that i love having everything organized in there and then over here, I organized all the tools back there. It looks so much better. I still have the Lazy Susan here with some random stuff that can't fit up there in my cleaning basket. So those just sit there. And then my spray bottles that I access most frequently. Here's my all-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, and my fruit and veggie wash. Those live there now. And I just love how much more neat and tidy it looks so that's up there and then down below not much has changed i did move a few things from down there into here and up there on that shelf but for the most part all of this is still the same so i've said this before i don't have a pantry or anything i also do not have any space to put in my appliances so that's why they kind of just sit on top of each other like this and then back there, we just have some of my partner's supplements and protein powder, overstock of dish soap, some vinegar, and other cleaning stuff. And then also just have a bag of snacks back there because there's no other room for it in the kitchen. So that's just going to have to live like that. I think there's not much that I can do in here, but at least this looks a lot better so I'm happy with that while I'm in the kitchen I do want to make another quick change in here this is our current paper towel holder nothing special about this just a pretty basic one that I got a few years ago but I'm really over this and want a new one with a more unique look and design and i'm going to install this one this is the paper towel holder that is a one hand tear by simple tome so i just got it in the mail and i'm really looking forward to trying this out and replacing this one with a new one i'm gonna go ahead and open this up so 
when you open the box, that's what this looks like. Here's one piece and the other one. And this. And I just dropped the nails that it came with. So you can install this two different ways. You can either do it by drilling it into the wall and use these nails or you can do the adhesive instead. I'm gonna remove this one. After removing our old paper towel holder, we decided that we were going to drill this one in a different spot. There are two holes left there, but we can patch those up really easily with some paint that we have. But here I'm going to install the new paper towel holder and it was super simple and easy, it just took like a couple minutes. In my opinion, I prefer it sitting like this under the cabinet than on the wall, but you can install it either way, however you'd like. Again, with an adhesive or by drilling it in. So we decided to drill it in this way and I love how it looks. The quality of this one is much better and I can already tell it's going to be more durable as well. And it does what it says. You can just pull off a paper towel with one hand and it's very simple and easy. So if you're looking for a new paper towel holder, check this one out. I'll have a link in the description below.